Hi, Aiden. You're almost gonna be here. Mom, still four centimeters, and it is ten till eight. I can hardly remember now the sound of the room, um, I, but I know that I noticed that it went silent. The nurse or the doctor placed Aiden on my chest just as they had done with Ethan and I was still overjoyed. I, I was feeling the emotions of having just given birth and wasn't expecting anything to be wrong still at that point. And then I remember hearing Ricky who was standing right to my side ask if his hands were okay. Yeah, there, there were no fingers. It was like little mittens. And then I immediately looked at his feet and, you know, what's wrong with his feet? So That's the first time we heard the words Apert, Apert syndrome. syndrome. A nurse came in, um, handed us a one-page printout that she had found on the internet about Apert syndrome. and. Um, that was all we had to go by for the first couple days until we kind of brought ourselves around to look it up online ourselves. Aiden had a lot of tests while he was in the NICU. Luckily, he didn't have anything internally going on. He was more mild in the face. Um, his bicoronal suture across from ear to ear was fused. Um, and then, like we said, the hands and feet. So we knew we had a long road of surgeries and treatments and doctor's appointments ahead of us. One thing that really bothered us is we were concerned with people staring at Aiden, um, staring at kids with other syndromes that it may be out of curiosity, but they just don't know any better. They haven't seen it before. We really just want Aiden to have the most normal life as possible. And, you know, raising awareness about his condition and other craniofacial syndromes and conditions, I think is one way that will just shed some light on some of the differences that kids and adults will encounter throughout their lives. Yeah.